Hey guys, welcome back to Diesel Place Arc. So this is the part two of the update. For those who have not checked out part one yet, go check it out. And after this video, remember to watch part three and part four. So in this episode, it's the Baryonyx guys. So let's get to it. The Baryonyx usually spawns in the swampy area. I found mine at about 7253. The Baryonyx is a simple trank and feed method and just take note guys, due to its ability to stun and lock creatures underwater, it's highly advised to avoid combating them in the water, right? Kite him somewhere and then finish him off with the trank arrows or darts. Its preferred food is patchy rhino kibble, so let's take a look at how it fed with the other meat. For meat, the Baryonyx tames the best with raw prime fish meat and the worst with cooked fish meat. Any other kibble and the cooked fish meat has the same taming effectiveness at 88.9, but any other kibble tames slightly better than cooked fish meat. So now let's take a look at the pros. On land, the Baryonyx is pretty awesome too if you pump in movement speed and he also can jump. Underwater, this dino is pretty awesome guys. You know, he has this spin attack that actually stuns some dinos underwater. So watch till the end to find out which of the dinos he is not able to stun. And unlike other amphibians, once you dismount him, he doesn't go up to the surface. He remains where you dismount him. That's really awesome. And also, he's able to knock off players of mount dinos underwater. So now for the cons, the health stat on this dino isn't that great guys, it's pretty low actually and it only heals up with raw fish meat, it doesn't heal up with raw prime fish meat or raw meat. So additional information, the Argentavis can actually lift this dino up, that's pretty awesome. And for the spin attack, it doesn't affect the Basilosaurus, Mosasaur, Plesiosaur, and the Tuzotusis. The only large dinos underwater that it affects is the Megalodon and the Dunkylosaurus, or anything smaller than that. Alright guys, we are going pretty strong, thank you all so much. And remember to check out part 1, 3, and also 4. My take on the Baryonyx, it seems to be an early to a mid game land dino, and maybe an early to a late game. See, Dino, it's pretty awesome because it tends to go underwater without oxygen and stuff like that. A mixture between a Spino and a Sarko, maybe. I don't know. It's pretty cool, guys. <laughs> go get uh, one tamed up because you know why. When new Dinos come up, you'll definitely need their eggs for Kibble.